down. Please welcome Saints Media Director, Brandon Iwachishi. Well, good evening, everyone. Very special night here at the Grand Fury Arena, obviously. It's the CL12 PT30 Memorial Game. On behalf of the entire Saints organization, I'd like to say thank you to everyone for coming out here tonight, and thank you for everyone watching and listening online. At this time, I'd like to welcome the families of both Parker Tobin and Connor Lucan onto the Grand Fiorina Ice. <laughs> Joining them, former Humboldt Broncos, Tyler Smith and Derek Pattern. Also like to welcome the families of Tyler Smith, Derek Pattern, and the family of Logan Hunter sitting upstairs. If we could get your attention towards the video screen here at the Grand Fury Arena. We have a small video we'd like to show. We begin tonight with breaking news out of central Saskatchewan. There has been a serious crash involving the Humboldt Broncos so the team. The SJHL, the junior hockey team. The bus collided with the semi on Highway 35 north of Tisdale. That's Only about minutes from the hockey rink where the team was scheduled to play Friday night. Emergency crews rushed to the area by ground and by air. We have gotten word from multiple sources that there are several fatalities. In the what the people of Saskatchewan are calling their saddest day has also become Canada's. Sixteen people on the Broncos bus lost their lives. Thirteen were injured. Leaving a town, a country, and the hockey world shattered. Connor played three seasons for the Saints and had moved from Slave Lake to Spruce Grove to play Bantam and minor midget to AAA. Connor was a very special leader and a key part of the Saints last AJHL championship in 2015. Parker grew up playing goal in Stony Plain minor hockey system. Parker was very well spoken, smart and articulate. He was a positive influence for teammates both on and off the ice. Parker was an accomplished four ball player as he won three Canada Cups with the Parkland Warriors. I want to say to all the Humboldt Broncos families, not one of us is alone in our grief. Continue to reach out. Reach out to one another for help and support. Across our region, our province, our country and our globe, we will find strength in one another. Today and for every day forward, we are all humble Broncos and we will be forever humble Broncos strong. On April 6, 2018, the hockey world and many lives were changed forever. On that fateful day, 16 members of the Humboldt Broncos were senselessly taken from those who loved them, and another 13 were seriously injured. In the wake of their passing, we all became Humboldt Broncos, and we will continue to honor and play for them. Tonight, we remember two members of the Broncos who had special ties to the Saints and were valued members of the Spruce Grove and Stony Plain communities. Connor Lucan. Born January 14, 1997, was an incredible competitor and teammate. Connor moved to Spruce Grove from his hometown of Slave Lake when he was just 14 years old to pursue his hockey dreams. He played two seasons for the Pack Saints and one season with the St. Albert Raiders before skating three seasons with the Spruce Grove Saints, including an AJHL championship in 2014-2015. In those three seasons with the Saints, he was revered and loved by all who played with him and who coached him. 
Very few times would you see Connor without his infectious smile lighting up the dressing room. He was a fierce and skilled hockey player, someone everyone loved to go to battle with. He continues to be a shining light for those who knew him. Parker Tobin, born September 22nd, 1999, was a special individual whose on-ice pedigree as an elite goaltender was matched equally by his big heart and his care that he bestowed upon his friends. A big butterfly goalie who had a niche for the big games and could always be counted upon by his teammates to be there for, for them in any way that they needed. He was a gifted floorball player and volunteered his time to various groups, including the Stony Plain Flyers and the Stony Plain Eagles. Parker's time with the Saints was brief, however very memorable. He stood on his head the season before being acquired by the Saints as a member of the Drayton Valley Thunder in the playoffs, doing double duty as a brick wall, a big reason why he was acquired by the Saints a season later. Both Connor and Parker have teammates and friends who are still part of the Saints, and tonight you'll hear from them and others about their memories and what an immense impact they each had on this community. It is the entire Saints organization's pleasure to have known them, and we will continue to do our best to keep their smiles, voices, and memories alive. At this time, I would like to ask former Spruce Grove Saints Austin Parmeter and Josh Harris to present the Lucan and Tobin families with commemorative Spruce Grove Saints third jerseys here tonight. The CL12 PT30 commemorative third jerseys are available for auction upstairs in the lounge right now. Bid sheets are located on the far side and the jerseys will be given right off the backs of the Spruce Grove Saints following tonight's hockey game. All the proceeds will be donated to victim services in Spruce Grove and let me tell you, victim services for myself and this hockey team is a huge part of the Saints bringing home a championship the year that this tragedy happened. I would now like to ask Spruce Grove Saints captain Brett Trentum and Camrose Kodiak's captain, Mackenzie Welke, to come to center ice for the ceremonial puck drop. One more time, Spruce Grove, CL12, PT30, never forgotten. <laughs> 